Okay, so as I mentioned in part three, that part four is basically a mathematical extension of this chapter four, uh, how to find out the uh, utility maximization. So uh, utility maximization, uh, the demand theory, uh, the mathematical treatment. So what we are doing here, we are suppose, for example, that Bob utility function is given by this uh, utility x, y, utility of x and y with the log x plus uh, log uh, y log x this is a utility function and utility function uh, can be in any any form so uh, we are here in a log form so where x is used to uh, represent food and y represents clothing uh, in that case the margin utility associated with the additional consumption of x is given by the partial derivation of the utility function so what we are doing we are partially derivating the utility function with respect to x uh, which is uh, food here uh, so we get uh, when we uh, partially derivate uh, this utility function So this is our utility function actually, right? So log x plus log y. And when we want to find out how much the utility change if we use one more unit of x, so we have to find out a partial derivative of this function with respect to x. So when we take a partial derivation of this function with respect to x, we get this value. The consumers optimizing uh, problem by maybe written as maximizing utility. That's what we maximize uh, subject to the constraint, which is this is our budget price of X multiplied by X, the number of units plus price of Y multiplied by Y is equal to I. And we, you know, already the assumptions that there is no saving, there is no credit. So whatever the income we are spending on these two products. Now, what method we use here is we call it as a Lagrangian function. Lagrangian function is a specific uh, method in uh, uh, calculus uh, to maximize or optimize. Uh, we can we use the same method for maximization of utility as well as for uh, minimization of the uh, cost as well. So how we do this? So techniques to maximize or minimize function subject to constraint so Lagrangian function is a, a maximization or a minimization of a uh, of a subject of a function subject to means that there is a constraint so in our model uh, of a utility maximization we have a constraint of income right so we are facing constraint of income so we want to maximize the utility uh, subject to or with a constraint of income. So we see here functions to be maximized or minimized plus a variable, the Lagrangian, this uh, multiplier, uh, multiplied by the constraint. So how we set the Lagrangian function, this symbol, uh, we call it as a phi, uh, is, uh, is representing here as a Lagrangian function. How we set it, Lagrangian function or phi is equal to utility function minus lambda into budget constraint right that's we create a whole function this is our complete Lagrangian function uh, Lagrangian function is equal to utility function minus lambda into budget uh, constraint or a budget function so note that we have a budget function we already noted that and we can write it like this px uh, plus p y uh, p x into x plus p y into y minus i is equal to it's the same thing but we we just uh, uh, take the i on this side and make it is equal to zero now what we have to do we have to partially derivate this whole Lagrangian function with respect to all the three variables x y and lambda so we partially derivate this with respect to x and derivative to 0 and equate the derivative to 0. So this one is a partial derivation of a Lagrangian function with respect to x is equal to 0 
partial derivation of a Lagrangian function with respect to uh, y is equal to 0. Partial def, uh, uh, derivation of a Lagrangian function with respect to lambda, this is a typo mistake. So this is not y, this is lambda is equal to 0. So we get this. Now we have a three equations, 1, 2 and 3. And we have a three variables. One is x, the other one is y, and the third one is lambda. So we can see here that this is margin utility because when you derivate the utility function with respect to x, that's get a margin utility of x. When you derivate with respect to y, it's a margin utility of y uh, minus the remaining uh, element with the x uh, variable. So we see here, uh, we can write this one in this shape. This is just a writing in another way uh, the second in this way and the third in this way now we see here uh, that these two are equal to lambda px over py uh, marginal utility of y so we can divide this m m y u x over m margin utility of x divided by margin utility of y so we can say lambda px over py so when we do this uh, what we get it uh, we get the lambda in this way that margin utility of x y over px is equal to margin utility of x y over p y right or we can write this way as well so we combine the first two conditions to obtain the uh, equal marginal principle uh, that principle we already discussed that uh, whatever we have uh, the mar margin utility per dollar of each good should be equal so we get it this uh, to optimize the consumer must get the same utility from the last dollar spent by consuming either x or y uh, to characterize the individual's optimum uh, in more detail we can rewrite the uh, information uh, in this way as well we can write it like this way uh, what we discuss in other words the ratio of the margin utility is equal to the ratio of the price now if you look at this what it is and what it is this one is the slope of the indifference curve and this one is the price ratio or a slope of a budget constraint and we know that uh, at the point of utility maximization these both curves are tangent to each other and uh, this is the way that we have to apply the Lagrangian function so for a Lagrangian function what we have to do we have to set a Lagrangian function uh, utility function minus lambda into budget constraint uh, when we derivate this Lagrangian function with respect to x, y, z, uh, x, y, lambda, and then we equate these um, uh, each other uh, in order to find out the value of x, y, and lambda. Uh, we will discuss this Lagrangian function in uh, more detail in chapter number, uh, coming chapters like for a production where we want to uh, minimize the cost as well. Uh, so for a practice purposes, you can uh, do your learning activity where you find it uh, uh, the weekly assignment where you find it how you can uh, use it so this is all what i want to discuss from with you uh, from this chapter and I've, i hope you enjoy it and uh, get the idea